Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the Fix This Build That Sunday Night Live show. I'm Brad. And I'm Susan. And we did a lot of painting this week. We did. And right? it's Father's Day. And happy Father's happy Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. That's uh, right. We had a great Father's Day today. I personally had a great Father's Day. Uh, we, Susan, did you have a good Father's Day? I had a great Father's yeah, Day. Good father. <laughs> I made you uh, breakfast in bed. <laughs> she did. So we, we kind of have the tradition, Mother's Day, Father's Day, that we did make. Did you bring the gift? You should have the gift. No, I, sh I should. We should have had yeah. the gift. Uh, and maybe we'll bring it next next That's right. Sunday. Well, then we won't be here next Sunday. Yes. What are you looking at? Your chin. You're kind of... <laughs> your little, little splurge of makeup going on. It's all right. Yeah. Go. I got ready real quick. You're good. It did not look like this all day. <laughs> so, I hope everybody had a great Father's Day if you are a dad or if you have a dad. Right. And you spent some time with him. Um, we, we really enjoyed it. So, it's we fun. also have been working very hard yes. on uh, on a project. So this week we've been working on um, a feature wall and that's all I'm going to say about it. Yeah. it. It's been a feature wall. It's really cool. It's really cool. We're that. excited about it and we're finishing the final steps of it. And um, and then when that comes out, you will yeah. see it. So we're in the home stretch. Before we jump in and greet everybody on the channel, why don't we greet some new members of the Builders Club? And if I have the right screen up, uh, that would help. That would be helpful. So I can see it. There we go. Okay. We had uh, Thaddeus Intravia and David Whitaker and Ansar Durai. Duri. Durai. Thank you so much, guys, for joining the Builders Club. And if you're not familiar, that's basically the inner circle of the Fix This Build That audience. They get free plans and early access to videos and credits in the live as well as credits at the end of the video. So if you're interested in supporting the channel and finding out more about that, you can head down to fixthisbuildthat.com forward slash Builders Club. I almost said forward slash live. Forward slash live would just take you here. Right. Just circle back. So thank you so much to those guys uh, for, mm -hmm. for joining the Builders Club. Yes. All right. And a big shout out to all the Builders Club folks. I'm like, we got like all this dust on the screen. I'm like, what's all over my shirt? Oh, no, that's just dust. It's just the dust. <laughs> oh, it's on the computer screen. On the computer screen, okay. yes. I thought it was on the lens. All maybe. right. Who do we have on let's online see. here? Uh, let's see. Is, is this scrolling? Here? I can't tell. My, my fingers are all wet now and it's not scrolling. All right. We got, <laughs> we got uh, Will. What's up? We got Will. We got Travis. Scott. Cody Miller, what's up, man? Um, and Brian Farnth, David Pikes, what's up, David? James McIntyre, Tundra SR5, Micah Hicks, and JC. All, All right. right, cool. Awesome, guys. Well, thanks. And, and I hope, uh, I know we have some fathers out here in the crowd. So, hope you guys had an awesome one. Um, we didn't, well, so for this week, we've, we, we've kind of, we've had, a, we've gone through a bunch of crazy travel and like just plan changing stuff. Oh my gosh, a lot. Uh, with video, it's like, it's all, it's all like waterfall type activity. So like, you're like, oh, well we're gonna have this plan and then something happens up here and it's like, do, 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 and yep. it just changes everything. We're, so, like the, we're like American Airlines right now. Canceling, we can, we're yeah. not canceling anything, but, you, <laughs> but like, you know, once you shift something in the schedule, then there's then all a domino the rest effect. It. So yeah. we had originally planned to, uh, to actually go down to Mexico. Mexico? We had a uh, yep. well, opportunity to rise up that we we're going to go down and take a vacation down there. Yep. Uh, really nothing, excited. Nothing to do with the business, but, uh, we were going to go to that. And then our son's passport, we, none of us had passports. So we like got passports right. and we tried to expedite it. We did but expedite, then We got yeah. four passports back instead of five. Right. So our sons got lost. And at the same time, we found out that like COVID is running rampant in the part of Mexico we were gonna go to. Yes. And so- And we then his like, came, but like it was more it, concern about- But it didn't about... come until right. later. And anyway, we were like, the yeah. biggest concern was that we've both, we're both vaccinated, but the kids are not. Right. And so if they tested positive, even though they didn't, may, might not even show symptoms, we would have had to quarantine in Mexico for 14 days. Yes, and that's a big deal. Not great for business. I mean, not great no. for anything. <laughs> and it just kind of, I don't know. It just and so it we just canceled that. Out. Yeah. And then my sister decides to get married, uh, pull her wedding in way earlier than it was going to be, and so like then we're like planning another trip. Half. Anyway, it's it's been crazy. <laughs> yeah. And so, so it's exciting. We have a wedding we to don't go really know to, what's going on. but yes, just a lot of, but what but we you do guys know. can relate. I feel like we had planned on taking a, a, a trip this summer and it has changed it has shape changed. and form. It's like COVID is gone, times. but it's still, but what <laughs> but we do right. know, beer of the week is uh, Bud Light. The old standby, old faithful. We've, we've got some other beer that we're going to yep. be opening here. So we've cheers. been, uh, yeah, we've been painting until 2 a.m. A lot of nights Buds for you. and we've been drinking yeah. Bud Light while doing it. So I hope you guys are having a good one because we've been crazy. Oh my out gosh. here the last, you know, basically yeah. two weeks has just been 
a little insane. And I think people, like, a lot of people mm. are traveling for the it's first tasty. time since COVID, you oh, know? Oh, everybody's starting to travel. So it's traveling. packed everywhere, COVID I've is, heard. So COVID is, is gone and people well, are flying. Yes, people are out doing things, which is exciting. Yeah, yeah. So, so there it is. Um, oh, yes. wait, what is this? Did, did it? But like, why? Well, I know. So, so <laughs> don't worry, Scott. You'll understand here in just a minute. Yes. But, but it's good, you know. It's good to stay hydrated. Yeah. <laughs> I had one of those lion beers the other night. Was that one of the ones Scott sent us? Which beer? The amber ale ones. Oh, no. That was... I don't remember who that was. It was really good, though. It was Jack's... Wag. Jack and Mac or whatever. Jack and yeah. Mac. It so, speaking of which, and here's the reason why, Scott. So, we have... Oh, no. No, I got it. We have a little Here's segment, which we like to call Mail Time. Oh, yeah. Mail Time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready. Are you undoing my Sorry, I, I did it. All right. We've got mm. a couple little things here. Here, I'm going to have to put them up this because I didn't block out. Oh, that's just, never mind. That's the P.O. box address. What? So we're good. I, just, <laughs> I didn't want to have the address. I think we can read we it upside a, down anyway. Listen, crafty people, people out there. Not these people, you know, somebody no. would come later and like, Go there. So we got some mail from uh, Michael and Kathy Vaught <laughs> out of Clarksville, which is just up north. Clarksville. Oh, yeah. We don't get a lot of mail Neighbors. anymore. We don't get a lot of mail anymore. No. Uh, oh, you haven't is, even read this, huh? I haven't. I have. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, hey, Brent, like your videos. I have a problem with my table saw. But this oh is gosh, fantastic. This is great. Oh, this is so good. I don't, I'm not going to like show his stuff. Here, let me see if I can do this. But he basically sent it. me. Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> He basically sent me an email um, in paper form, an, right? An email in paper form. He has a question and he submitted pictures. Yes. Typed up. Typed up with pictures of what's going on. Let's yeah. see. What does he say? I have a problem. My track, my table saw, the tracks on the, the table are not the same as mine. It's an old saw and the tracks, tracks are T-shaped. T-shaped. I Got purchased it. UHMW bars, which UHMW is like a uh, hard plastic, but they don't fit. Mm. They're squared off with no step. Does anybody sell bars that'll fit? My table saw tracks. That's a great. Do you and, know the answer a, to this off the top of yes. your head? Yes. So if you have wow. a table saw that has, so this one actually. This is a great picture. It is actually a, a nicely done picture. Shows the teeth. Uh, let's see here. This looks like an old, a very, I don't, you guys probably can't see that, but it looks like a very old table saw and a very, um, it, it looks like a, you know, like a bench top. So it's, it's, it's probably a lighter duty table saw. I can't really tell exactly what it is. Um, it's kind of got a weird, the lines on there, though. It's like the, the different inches. So, uh, yeah, but, what is that all about? Five, four, oh. But it does have a fence on the top. It's and so he's basically lower. saying, like, hey, it's a T, and it's a different. So this is not something I typically see. Hmm. Typically, the T goes the other way. So typically, the um, in, a, in, a table, in a track on your table saw, the miter bar, if it does, have, a lot of them don't have indent, oh. indentations at the end. But most of them, when they do they're they're kind of like that right so right. most table saws are like that and then uh, a lot of miter bars will have like a, a washer or something a type of washer on the front of it and that's what hooks it in so it doesn't lift up his is actually the one that he just showed if you couldn't tell his kind of goes like that oh so it's more like t-track which that's what t-track looks like um so the, yeah that's that's really interesting he's basically saying like hey do you do they sell any bars to fit that and they do and they there's plenty of bars that'll fit into t-track and that's what he needs to be looking for uh, he even says it's the tracks are t-shaped so i'll have to uh email michael back and let him know what's up or write him a letter back all right send it in the mail <laughs> type it up with a picture that'd be cinema. fun when's I'll... the last time you just wrote someone a letter and put it in the mail with a stamp on it not for a holiday or a birthday it's been a hot minute it's or for stickers time. or, or for... for stickers yeah i've said i send stickers all the time how many people on here, how, how many people have, have gotten stickers from me? How many people do I owe stickers? They, they tell me <laughs> that. That's actually probably more important. Yeah. If I owe you stickers, let me know. Oh, Scott, I love that you included my name on this too. Brad See? and Susan. And Susan. But it's like mis, not all just the this name. stuff. G, not oh, a T. Oh, yeah. Well, so, whatever. But now we got... Uh, it's okay. We'll forgive you. 
Mr. Scott Orem is Ooh. officially he is like the beer our provider. Supplier. Of, I think what he may have. What is this? He hasn't quite given us more than the other. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a whole different thing. This is, yeah, this yeah. is no longer Elysian. So I just wanted to open it on here, Scott. That's why we don't have it. So oh, let's yeah. hear. Scott sent over it's a big reveal. Some more beer. I've never even heard of this. What is this? Kulashan Brewing Company. It sounds like it's Japanese. Well, there's or mountains something. there. No, maybe not. Oh, in no India Pale Ale. It doesn't. Tell We've anything. got. Well, it's called Bastard Cat. I, like the I guess if you're Bastard Cat, Kitten IPA, Mittens, Kitten Mittens, Sunnyland Heliotrope, Honey, and Kitten Mittens. Kitten Mittens. I think Kitten Mittens is going to be our favorite. I Ooh, mean, that's 8% too. what is it? It's a winter ale. Dude, can we need I like love a? It. Where's this from? I don't know. Is it from? Flip it around. Uh, Flip it upside I'm down. Looking. Brewed in Bellingham. That's Washington. Okay. Brewed in Bellingham. Oh, right there. Look, it's got a. Oh, it's got a map. It's got a little map on. Get out of here. There you go. So you'll be seeing these I'm soon. I'm gonna look at we'll, the map. We'll please. be taste testing those. Scott, thank you very much. Sunnyland. Thank you very much. Scott, did you hit your 5,000 followers? If so, congratulations. I, I assume you probably did. Cool Shihan. Anyway. Ah, all right. T-Hub. Very cool is that. How's your hand, man? I hope your hand's doing okay. Kitten mittens. Uh, it's my fave. Let's see here. All We're right. just going to put it over here. Are they catching Pat and Kevin on? <laughs> Alan Isaac, what's up? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to everybody. All right. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Cool as All right. Cool as um, Taylor, I, I, I was trying to, uh, I signed into your live. You didn't see it. You didn't acknowledge me. That's okay. I, I felt bad. <laughs> he cried a little. But he was, and he, he like cut his hand. Cut his, oh. I think it was your thumb. I, I can't remember. I think it was Like how bad of a cut are we talking? Oh, it was pretty nasty. Oh, no. It was like, he showed, he just did an Instagram post. It was like staples. How many staples? Oh, well, my It was gosh. like maybe eight staples. Mm. Something like that. It looked pretty nasty. From what I understand, it was a putty knife. He cut himself Oh, wow. With. with a putty knife? I mean, you leave can get it, yourself with anything, Taylor. right? <laughs> Taylor. I realize I don't I have a strong you're... stomach. Just hearing that makes me want to throw up. And then yeah, be careful in the shop. We have a local cat that likes to visit our house, and he left us I a like present. I call him a local cat. Local cat. <laughs> a local cat. <laughs> he gets around. <laughs> he lives a couple streets over, and he sleeps on our back deck a lot, and we love him. And he just visits us whenever he feels he like it. Because he's a cat. Animals. He leaves us dead animals. And I had the to last clean one he up. Left. The last one, and it had been, it wasn't even sitting out it was that like, long. Uh, it was like Godfather. But, oh yeah, it was. It was like, um, it was you, so make, you make them an offer they can't refuse. It was like the dead horse's head in the <laughs> yeah. bed. It was like a rat or a mouse. A and mouse. it was like his head over here and his body with all the entrails spilled out over right. there. Right, and the head, he like, left it on the, we have the, uh, the table, the cement topped um, outdoor coffee, coffee table. table is on our back deck. And he loves it because he'll lay on there because it's nice and cool in the summer. Yeah. I mean, we've, this has been a recent thing, but he does lay on there. But he left the head right on the table. Yeah. So we said we need to train him. But anyway, Cats. I saw the entrails and I almost vomited. It was so disgusting. That's so, awesome. Sorry. Uh, but he's adorable. Oh, tra yeah, Travis got the team flip. By the way, yeah. Got the it, what? The team flip top sticker. Uh, and then, uh, Will, the uh, so the stickers are, I moved those up. They used to be. I don't even want to, it says it on there. It'll say it in Patreon, who gets the stickers. I think it's actually now it only the 25 and, and up. Uh, yeah. Because it's like a note and stickers. And I was like writing a ton of notes and stickers. And so I was like, all right, I got to move this up. Yeah. So that, and that, that's not been on like the $10 level for quite a while. It's been a minute. But yeah, I want to say that's true. Because at 10 bucks you get free plans. So yeah. it's like you, you get the value of the Patreon right off the plans. Every there you month. go. There you go. I like it. Um, <laughs> a Scott face bubble. Yeah, Brian, we should, we should get like, uh, we'll, you know, we like one of those, <laughs> we should. Like, hey, from Scott, yep. uh, from the beer of the week. Just have him sitting here. Taylor got six staples, beer. a small cut, but it wouldn't stop bleeding. Oh, it was a bleeder. It's all dangerous in the shop. <laughs> right index finger. Okay. Right, right. Staples are you right handed? Tomorrow. That seems kind of bad. I don't know. Bit, are you I left handed? Mean, I, I think know. Taylor used to be a How do you know this? Pitcher? Oh, baseball? okay. I thought you were going to tell me that and, Taylor and like, was left-handed. Really like, how would you know this? I, I, I'm assuming. He's a pitcher, and so I assume he's left-handed. I don't know. I don't know. That's, Taylor, that's my guess. Know. That's my guess. I, I wonder know. what percentage of the population is left-handed. Somebody knows here. I'm sure someone. Or they'll 18%? Google it. 18%? 18? I thought it was 16 higher. 16 to 18%. Shut the front door. Like 30 to 40%. No, I'm going 16 to 18. I'm saying 30 to 40%. I think it's mm -hmm. a lot more than we think. 16 to 18. That's what I'm going for. Wait, top chat. Live chat. Oh, there we go. Didn't really change. Anyway, thing. lefty. He's a lefty. Look at you. 
I mean, okay, we just play. Brad is on a roll right now because <laughs> right before bedtime for the kids, we played an escape the room with them. Like, we've never done this before. It was one of those, like, you set it up in the room. Um, we got it at a kid's toy store. And it was so much fun. And you were like, he was like a cipher machine, you know, like. And this is not like the, the boys were. I was like. Well, they were too. But, well, like, but they all fun. were. I was kind of just like reading all the there. clues. You James know, is but. a lefty. Dad, go. Oh, what? what? We got see? three lefties? Teresa's Four to lefty? 30 to 40%. Thank you very right. much. Well, just 30, by 30 representation this in this audience. group. I'm a, Approximately 10% Taylor Okay, says. I might have been. See? I'm I double checking 16. this. I know. Now we're, we're, we're Wikipediaing it right now. Everyone everybody's, has to look. Everyone's everybody's, searching right now. Yeah. How many lefties? Seven. <laughs> what? What is this? 708 million. We have an actual number here. That's not about 9.2% is what that says. There you go. This Ten, is 30%. 10%. Oh, hush, I'm just kidding. Mouth. It says 10%. She's making this up. I mean, it seems like it should be more than 10%. No. Although I always felt bad for the kids that were left-handed when I was in elementary Micah school. Micah says kind of lefty. I'm kind of, oh. so, okay, let's talk about Ambidextrous. This. Woodworking as a left-hander. I think that's an interesting yeah. topic because we have several people here. And I bet I was thinking on the other day when I was driving in my van, I have one of those steering wheels where... I can turn the, in this, for most people, you can like adjust Good the volume, volume on the yeah. steering wheel. And it's on the left side, and I never thought about that before. And for whatever reason, it crossed my mind, like, I bet left-handed people are like, finally, <laughs> something I use all the time. Because the, the thing that's on the right, I never use that one. Always on the left side, but it must be so frustrating that everything's I, I feel, a lot. I feel like, okay, so woodworking. There are a few things, like, I wonder, so a, uh, if you're a lefty, do you really want to use a sidewinder left so circular saws do you want to use a left mount oh. because like most circular saws like at least there's like an east coast west coast thing actually <laughs> like the war yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was that <laughs> was, like, was that west, west side west oh, side <laughs> are you gonna okay go know. ahead continue on that's the east i don't know east side something you better stop flashing games i know here We're, i know but <laughs> there you go, east, yeah, east side. It looks like That's, we're gonna be like shine a flashlight, yeah. make shadow puppets or something. <laughs> but the side, the, the thing, uh, so the lefties, do you guys prefer, or even the righties? Because I try to, use, when I, you, whenever I use the motor on the left circular saw, it feels super weird. So what do you guys have? Do y'all have, the, they mm -hmm. call it the sidewinder. It's like a different motor mount, actually. It's like direct drive versus, I don't know. But I actually have, do I have one of each here? I used I know I got rid of that one because it just it weirded me out so much. Oh, I remember that saw. Was it the saw? Yeah, the red yeah. The, the Milwaukee one. The Milwaukee one. Um <clears throat> yeah. Many smart people in history are lefties. Lefties are definitely more creative. You learn to be from ambidextrous. What I understand. Yeah. Um and you learn that. I think our daughter may be lefty. Well, I was just thinking about that. I don't what it, she just she so, doesn't really care. Yeah. Don't she, even say Okay. Line. There's a whole thing there, but yeah. 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 We um <laughs> I think she's right-handed, but write, she definitely doesn't have a strong dominance on the right Brian side. Brian writes and eats lefty, but all sports are righty. That you is know, so weird. I always kick, when I played soccer growing up, and I was not like an amazing soccer player, so it's not like I'm really, like I'm not, you know, amazing and touting this. But for whatever reason, all the way through, I played my, like forever, I always kicked with my left foot. I don't know why. Like whenever I was shooting. Probably where you weren't that good. I was decent. I wasn't horrible. I just wasn't amazing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Anyway, no, but like no, I just I, felt more comfortable kicking with my left foot. When I when I like try to do anything, and you know it should be lefties for righties too. Like if I you know it's like one of those things where you use you know I've been using my right arm to do yeah. all sports and like most everything for over 40 years, <laughs> and then like you know I try to like throw a baseball or something, and I'm just like. Because you think like, oh, the mechanics, I should be able, but it's, it's like, like muscle memory or like, what? Yeah. It's like you. Well, when now you're throwing I. The... Yeah, thanks. I knew you were gonna go there. <laughs> Every time on vacation that I was trying to like throw the skip ball to the kids in the water, this guy was just <laughs> he couldn't. He was. I'm surprised you weren't on the sand laughing. He was like, but my my arm uh, is jacked up because I fell down the stairs a few months ago and like wrenched yes. my shoulder back so is this what you're blaming? i'm gonna just blame you, it is on that my what shoulder. you're going with yeah uh, I, I mean it does hurt when i do stuff like that but i'm also just not great at throwing things i did not grow up playing sports that involved like throwing balls so i'm not good at that yeah i could improve but not right now she uh so, yeah her, her family did you write down i said west side woodwork okay so that's, that's, yeah. that's a good i'll be grade. like throwing up the gang sign it's gonna be great 
It sounds like there's a lot of people that do. Frank. Yeah. I play pool. I, I can shoot pool. I mean, because pool's like a little bit easier. But oh, that's I only like when I'm up right against handed. when I'm when I'm up against the wall. That was something. Gary, that we did thank you. Happy that Father's you Day to you as well. My didn't friend. know I was so good at pool. Oh, she's great at pool. That's right. High five on that. Thank you. Yeah. And we've been married 16 years. When, over spring first time we've break. ever played pool. I know. He was like, "What? What is this <laughs> hidden talent?" I'm like, hidden we had a pool talent. table in my basement growing up. All so right. I played so, a lot of pool. so what do you guys have going on? I'd love to hear some of the projects you guys are working on. We we don't talk about that much. What? Throw it out there. Is anybody working on a project and is running into issues? We could solve it here together as a, as a little group. <laughs> what was the I? We were saying about rapping, and the, then the, the no, the what's the ice ice baby? The problem? I'll solve it. That's what it was like popped in my head. Never mind when you were saying vanilla that. ice. Yes. Yeah. If there's a problem, I'll yo, solve I'll it. solve it. Yeah. Yeah. If never there's mind. a problem, yo, I'll solve it. When you said Check that, check out the mic while the DJ revolves it. Nice ice baby. Okay, that's it. We're really showing our age. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, give us give us your problems. I mean, give it to Brad because I will have no idea. Yeah, Phil Mickelson is a lefty. He is oh. the lefty because he would mirror his dad when he putts. That is a great uh, little. Now, tidbit. how many professional golfers are lefties? You said pitcher. A lot of really good pitchers are lefties because, because they can throw. Because most people are righties, and so hitting a left-handed pitcher is oh. harder than hitting a right-handed pitcher. Oh, huh. so. interesting. Um, I'm a lefty with orbital sanding. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lefty with or Yeah, that's a good, it's like changing, always changing hands. Uh, all right, we got Camacho from Mexico. What's up, my man? Hello. We were going to go to Mexico, but we're not. I know, we were, we were going to be down there. Uh, Frank, these are all IPAs. Those are all IPAs. Yes, they are. Indie Frank. panels. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty excited about all these, actually. Kittens, mittens. Kittens, mittens. Kitten mittens. We're definitely going for that one. Yeah. Uh, working on a Mickey Mouse coffee table. Oh, there's Frank, a winter ale too. Literally Sorry. in the <laughs> shop now. Oh, nice. And you must be avoiding it then. <laughs> when am I turning a pool, pool cue? That would be actually kind of fun. Are you doing what? Pool cue, but not anytime soon. Oh, because yeah. the uh, the lathe is actually in, in storage. storage right now. <laughs> yeah, we have talked about. We would love to have a pool table. We just don't have enough space for it. Yeah. Although I mean, our neighbors, they're big. our they're neighbors really big. were just like, we don't ever use our formal dining room, and they just threw a pool table in they there. They did. They've had it in there for a long time. Yeah. I, and, and I think about that it. a lot. Like, but the thing so is, fun. we do use our formal dining room yeah. because we have family. My sister has, um, who is just getting married, got, getting married in, in yep. Denver here next the end of this week, yep. uh, and she has four kids. And then my parents, so right. we use our dining room a lot because we don't have, yeah. enough, like, the adults will eat in the dining room and the kids will eat in the kitchen. It is nice. I do like the fact that we actually use so we, the Yeah, we there. use it we quite a bit. We have talked about doing and that. And Susan works in there, I do. A lot. Usually I work in there, yeah. So it gets a lot of use. Yep. Uh, Bubba Watson, is he a lefty, is that what we're saying here? But the, oh, weirdly, the kind of festival work, well, lefty. Taylor right says that Makita and festival are, like, pro-lefty. Oh, yeah. well, that's good to know. I always felt bad for the kids that were left-handed growing up because they never had the right scissors at art class. I know, never. You know, there's like one pair in like yes. middle school. Yeah. yeah, that was it. You and just then had like to make do. Got glue all over them. And every once in a while, you'd get stuck with a lefty as a righty, and you're like, "This stinks." Like, all right, oh. Jesus Cardenas working on a desk, but don't have a hardwood available in the area because he uses softwood. Could I use a softwood like pine for the tabletop? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, so there's a few answers to that. It depends. I, I would. I guess I, what I would go with is that it depends upon what kind of desk it is. First of all, yes. <clears throat> the answer is yes. Obviously, you can. Um, and then, do you want to? Is is the more appropriate question, which is it depends upon like is this for your five year old, six year old? Is this for you? What are you doing on it? Are you just gonna be sitting with a computer? Like if if like our we have our, our one for my daughter that I made and. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, cherry top, but we we also we put one of those um, like a clear plastic yeah, vinyl like acrylic vinyl yeah like a vinyl top on it and cut it you to cut size it, yeah because like literally she had it for like she has a like, week and there was like marker on it and I was like okay we're not gonna I know do she has like every art supply so it depends upon man. like who's gonna be using it what right. are you gonna be doing um, if you're just using <clears> it to <throat> sit at and to use your computer and like do desk activities and you're not like banging desk around activities. Pine is fine. Pine is fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're, you know, if you're using it for drafting or like something where you're doing a lot of movement and like, you know, whatever, like right. I don't know, building things, um, then maybe you want something a little bit harder. But, but pine, you know, it is a soft wood, but it's not like 
it dents just looking at it. You but know? you might get some. But you could also put you could put um, glass on it. You could put yeah. an acrylic thing on it. You can do things. You could put tabletop epoxy on it if you wanted to, and that would oh. be like a super durable finish. It wouldn't <laughs> dent at all that way. So uh, that's what I would say. It depends upon how you use it and. Um, the nice thing about a top to a desk as well is that you could make it out of pine and then replace it later oh, when the prices come down. That's true. So, you know, that, that's the great thing about um, tops for, you know, depending upon how you attach it, but more than likely, you know, you should have it attached in a way that you can unattach it and just replace it with something else if you need to. So there you go. Smart. All right, what else we have? Awesome, I love the questions coming in. Uh, Doug Johnson. Um, our, our text, I don't know why guys still, but I know our comments come in out of sequence at times. Um, and so some of these don't make sense to me, but uh, Gary's working on finishing out her daughter, his daughter's basement. Problem is I'm too old, <laughs> hard to fix that. <laughs> oh, and then Doug said, ha, I'm 54. So yes, see that's like those came out of order to us. Uh, <laughs> uh, James, dirt, James still working on that dirt, J dirt almost done. And then the brick sidewalk, James has been talking about hauling dirt and stuff for, mm. for weeks now. Uh, That'd be a really hot Camacho, job right now. Uh, what, what's my opinion on track saws? Yes or meh? I would say ultra yes. Uh, track saws are awesome. I didn't have one for a very long time. I, re I just got one. I probably had it for a couple of years. It's maybe. probably been a couple of years yeah. now. Uh, it was probably like two years it, ago. when Craig came out with theirs. I got it probably six months to a year later after they came out with it. Um, but it's great. Uh, I have the Craig Traxall and I love it because I used to use the, the AccuRide, which is like the Craig. Uh, it's like you put a, um, a base onto your circular saw and then it rides in it. But it's like, you know, it's got some play to it because it's, it doesn't lock down like a track saw does. And so that's the nicest thing about a track saw is like being able to strike a line and then put that, that cut on like that phenolic or rubber or whatever, that edge exactly where you want to cut. Like you don't have to do any like offset five and a quarter inches or any of that junk. You just put the, put it right where you want it to cut, go for it. Um, I don't use it for like beveling and things like that, that I know a lot of people do. Um, do you have a conversation over here? Sorry. You're texting. Just having to text somebody. Go ahead. Okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> Jesus, sir, I want to start texting. Uh, <laughs> playing Sudoku or something. Who's responding to your mom? <laughs> okay. uh, but yes, I would highly recommend a track saw. would be the short answer to that. Uh, track saws are amazing. We like track saws. Yes. We're, we're team uh, track oh, saws. Bubba Watson. Bubba Watson is apparently a lefty. Uh, T-Hub. Table saw fence right of blade. If I had to push material through with my left hand, it would not work. Way more comfortable pushing with right hand. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, because I have yeah. cut with my tip with my fence on the left before for different reasons, which I have no idea why, but, <laughs> oh no, I do know why, because when I used to have a, so if many of you have been around for a while in the woodworking space, almost all table saws used to tilt right. And so, and then you had the fence on the right. And so what would happen is if you're cutting, like it would create this, it would trap the wood. So you think about how dangerous that could be if you're doing an offcut and it's like wanting to grab and, and pressure the wood in between the fence and the blade. Um, and now left, it's obviously not putting pressure against the piece. So left tilting table saw is much more safe. And so when I had a right tilting table saw, an old Delta contractor saw, I would move the blade, I would move the fence to the left to make bevel cuts. So gotcha. that is why I did that. But yeah, super weird doing it left. Very weird. Uh, all right, what else we got here? Nathan's uh, Woodworks went to his first craft show today. Awesome. Did you get any sales? How'd it go? Uh, Mikita, I thought he said, <laughs> Doug Johnson said, a Makita track saw. I thought he said, I have a mafia track saw. And I was like, what? How do you, wow. The mafia makes track saw. That would be saws. impressive. Yeah. Like, like how know. do we not know about That's this? You, never mind. <laughs> uh, room in the shop. Now that the lathe is gone, I do have room in the shop, James. Yes. Looking pretty good. I've so. got the room to turn the pool cue and now I don't have the light. Right. Uh, let's see here. We've got a commission going on a custom trash can holder with trash and recycle pull downs. Ooh, that's cool. Nice. Four drawers down the middle and then a pull out on the pull out shelf on the back side. That's cool. And the fronts are going to be cherry. Very nice. Very nice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, just here. Uh, Teresa, trivia for tonight should name all the summer. Oh my gosh, summer Olympic sports. That would, I'd be out. And I think I would do pretty well. Really? I like the Olympics. All right. I'm in. 
gosh. Where are the Olymp- when are they going on? Like, like soon? Like in August, August? Maybe? Okay. July. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. Yeah. I'm super excited to see Simone Biles. We just, we, we realized, I had heard that she, I mean, I knew she was short. Did not realize Simone Biles is four foot eight inches tall. That's ridiculous. Which our youngest our nine-year-old, child. who is tall for her age, but still is it's taller, taller than, than <laughs> not by a lot, but she is taller than Simone Biles. It's weird to look at her and think she's essentially the height of Simone Biles. Yeah, except Simone Biles' thighs are as big oh my as my gosh. waist. She looks she's like, like she's muscular. just so she's strong. Just like, but she still probably only weighs 100 pounds. <laughs> I don't know with all the muscle. I mean, like, she's uh, she's amazing. That's, but yeah, that's super tiny. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Let's see her. Jesus, thanks for the advice. Absolutely. Um, by the way, you used to, to just to use a computer for school. Perfect. I think Pine Top oh, would yeah. be great. Uh, Frank. It's pretty affordable. Yeah. I have, a, to have to clamp an end to an edge at 45 degrees. It's such a pain. Uh, use, he uses me nails to hold it in place and lightly clamp it. Hopefully, a domino will be in the budget soon. Uh, yeah. If you so if I have to mm-hmm. clamp an end to edge at 45. Oh, I see what you're saying. For the um, for the to do it, the bevel, I think is what he was saying. But yeah, doing anything at 45 degrees is always kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I would just cut something. I, I back beveled, which was kind of silly, but I back beveled some of the boards that were going, the trim boards that are going <clears> on <throat> the, the feature wall, uh, the back of them, so that I was mm-hmm. going to scribe it. I ended up not scribing it. Kind of wish I had scribed it now because it did that little dip in, in the caulk, but whatever. Oh. And so I back beveled it just because, like, when you're putting trim into a <laughs> corner, like that corner is never like a sharp 90 degrees, right? It's always like rounded because of the mud or the drywall or the paint or the caulk or whatever. And so if, you, if you're installing trim, if you bevel that back inner edge that goes into the corner, it helps to install it. And so I was using the table saw at 45 degrees and I like tilted it over and I turned it on. And I had the blade up quite a bit and it was like, <laughs> like it just makes these crazy noises I'm because- sorry, what was that again? <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, uh, because you know, it's like rubbing up against the zero clearance insert and like things are going crazy. It's, yeah, I, I don't like cutting miters on the table saw at least. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here, T-Hub. Attaching hardwood edge banding without bandy clamps, painter's tape, 23 inch pin nail, or other form of securing with glue. Uh, I like um, I like painter's tape, Taylor. Uh, I think painter's tape, I mean, it's, you know, I, oddly enough, the sponsor of next week's video is, is uh, Scotch painter's tape. That's right. And <clears throat> so I actually have quite a bit of it. But right. you know, that's <laughs> probably- a lot of painter's tape right now. That could be maybe the more expensive way because like, you know, you gotta use a lot of tape depending upon how you do it. But I just like, you know, I like, I don't like filling nail holes. It's, it seems like, even if you use pin nails, it seems like no matter what, especially if you're not painting it, but even if you're painting it, it's like no matter how much you fill it, there's all, you can always just always kind of tell because whether the wood expands and like, you know how that goes. So anytime you put holes in your trim, it's hard to cover them up. So just using that painter's tape is, is great because you put it on there and then you have, you don't have anything to clean up. You just have to flush up your edges. So flush them up, flush them up, flush them down. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, yeah. So that, that's my preference. Um, all right, uh, strap clamps for clamping 45 degree corners. Strap clamps are awesome. I love, I love strap clamps. Uh, Three eighths inch white oak for contest. Oh yeah, yeah, no, totally would go with painter's tape on that one. I would personally. Uh, let's see here. What's a good project to get started, Micah Hicks? Um, my stock answer on that, Micah, is always a side table because a side table is, you know, almost anybody can use a side table. <clears throat> And you can make it in a lot of different ways. So you could make it as simple as you want. Like what I always tell people, like the most, the very bottom of the barrel kind of basic is you could have two by twos for the legs. So you could get like an eight foot two by two, um, make legs, you know, cut four legs out of it, get a eight foot one by four, cut the aprons for it. And then you could attach those. Well, let me keep going. And then you can, you know, do a top out of a one by four, cut it up do it together, a one by six, one by eight, whatever, depending upon how many boards you want to glue up together and have a side table. And that would be like the most basic form. And you could, um, the easiest would be like pocket hole joinery for the aprons and then even pocket holes up into the top and only do it so it will still expand. Like that would be super, super easy to do, but you could take that and then do all kinds of different things with it. So like you could do a drawer, you could do a bottom shelf, you could taper the legs, 
You could put a bevel on the underside of the top. So it's like a project that you could kind of start and, and do it super, super basic or say like, oh, I want to I try right. some of these different things right. and grow with it. Or I want to do, I want to do mortise and tenons or I want to do dominoes or I want to do a dowel joints for the joinery. Like side table. You could have a lot of side tables. You could start. You could. Yeah. You could. Kind of up the ends make a set. Time. You could make a set. You could. Make a pair. Totally. Right. Uh, you that too. Yeah. That yeah. uh, I just I love the idea of a side table because it's super low impact as far as right. like I said you know one eight foot two by two an eight foot one by four and maybe another eight foot or maybe two eight foot or or an, another eight foot one by six and you don't need a lot of hardware or even much and, of any at all and, you and right you you wouldn't even need a table saw you could do all that with a miter saw if you didn't want to get fancy mm -hmm. on any of the angles you could right. literally just chop 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 get the measurements and like connect it together. It's just such an easy barrier to entry project that, yeah. that, um, and then decide if you wanted to add more or less to it. So that'd and be my recommendation. And then you get the bug and you want to make more and then it'll all be downhill Next thing there. you know, you're making one with a hidden drawer in it. <laughs> That's right. And charging. Yes. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. Nathan's good luck. Um, thank you for asking. Oh, I sold a lot of stuff and it was fun. Awesome. Oh, good. Oh, he said, good. Thank you. I don't know why I said good luck. I'm like, why are you wishing me good luck? It's <laughs> <laughs> to go paint a room. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. If you have a background in construction, Micah, you, you know, it, it should probably come pretty naturally to you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mario Turcate from Ottawa, Canada. Welcome. Welcome. Dennis Mika. What's up, Dennis? How are you? July 23rd, neighbor's daughter goes to the gym. Here, where Simone practices. Oh, she says. Oh, cool. Watching her is unbelievable. I, I bet. Oh, July twenty third is when they start. July twenty third. Oh, that's that's soon. That's like right around your birthday. It is. My birthday is the twenty fifth. Oh, perfect. The kids go to camp the next week. I can just sit around and watch the Olympics all day long. Or no work. work. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Olympics. When I was pregnant with our oldest. She does love the Olympics. I remember. You're, you're going to crush me on this. Huh? You're going to crush me I know on I the know I am. Uh, I really am. Um, but no, when I was pregnant with our oldest, which would have been like he's turning 13 in September. Yep. He, uh, it was, he was born in early September. And so the Olympics came around when I was like nine months pregnant or eight Olympics, and a half. Yep. Yeah. And so, and I was a teacher at the time, so I wasn't in school right then. So I just sat in the air conditioning cause I felt huge, you know, and watched Olympics. It was great. It was so yep. useful. Yeah. Um, Olympics are, yeah. Olympics are good. All the, which is so funny though. Winter Olympics, meh. I like the Winter Olympics. There's but a few. There's a few events I like yeah. watching. I like watching the downhill, which is awesome. Yeah, there's a lot, and then like the luge and all that is Some fun. Some of those are cool. Yeah, but I like. I mean, it's crazy. The how skeleton fast. is insane. All of it's there's cool, like I think. Death. I like. I, I like see. I grew up watching ice skating. Yeah, they watched he, that. She watched it. He did not, but. Ice skating no. and gymnastics was no. like sports in our house growing up. I, know. <laughs> I have sisters. <laughs> and so, um, uh, yeah, no, it's really fun. Awesome. Max Krauss from Germany. Soon. How's it going? Hey, Max. Uh, let's hear Daniel. Uh, now with the price mm -hmm. bubble on lumber futures has burst. How long do I think until uh, we get to normal we prices We need to ask Katie stores, about that. Thinking of, yeah, late fall once building season is over. Yeah, so if you guys didn't know, and, and Katie mentioned she it on the it. last. I know she's not yeah. here today. She's not here. Uh, on the last live was that uh so and i saw the chart you know lumber futures were at like and this is per whatever i don't know hundred thousand board feet or something crazy um that seems too low maybe that's 100 board feet i don't know whatever Do they were at 17 i don't know it doesn't matter it was at 1700 dollars 1734 <clears throat> or something like that and it dropped all the way down to a thousand so like the futures price and, and so here's the thing let's Let's All right, guys. talk about what this is. Lumber rallied over 400% in a year. And there's an article on the Insider. Here's what four experts say comes next, yeah, but we don't know. All right, so, but, but let's talk about this for a minute because, I, because being objective about the news and not just hearing all that, there's, there's this new it? term <clears throat> that I've heard um, and I've not seen it. This. I've not <clears throat> heard about it in a long, oh wow, it is really dumb. But I've not heard about it in a long time, or I've not heard about it before, it is uh, called FUD. FUD? Yeah, FUD. So it's like type of news. Love it. And it's fear, unrest, and discourse or something like that. And it's basically like news just to get you going, right? Oh, man. And so... It's like when Southwest feet. tells you there's only five spots left yeah. on the plane because you need five spots. So Why? it looks... So I've got the chart up here, although this... I thought it was harder than that, but um, on May 7th, 
it was the the lumber wow. index was are you sure we're on the right thing yeah, yeah I guess lumber index. was sixteen hundred and seventy dollars and that's up from in February. It was six hundred, like literally up a thousand dollars. It went so crazy. It was literally at six hundred seventy in early February, um, and I think it was even lower than that. Wait, let's go to year to date. Yeah, and so before that, it was no, that's wow. about right. That's about right. And then now it had a huge drop, and now my gosh, it is wow. It it's is really all the way off. down to eight hundred ninety-seven. So it is now just barely. Up. So how long until Hold that on. translates Wait, no, no, no. in the stores? Oh, no, you're right. Or no, so. That... So let's go to like 2018, 2019. It was more like in the $300 range, three to three to $400. So we're still double, wow. almost triple. But what I wanted to say about that, about the spike is that th- you, have to, you have to think mm-hmm. about what that is. That's lumber futures, that's not lumber cost. Oh, okay. And lumber futures is exactly what it sounds like, is it's trading on the future lumber prices. So that is speculation of what the lumber pricing will be. So, and I don't know, but Hmm. that makes it look worse than it is um, because again that's like that's all speculation and but, that's not like pricing in the store but isn't so, that a good sign that's coming down no it is down? but i'm just like, saying okay, two, so there's two fine. sides to it that yeah. it really was like the prices weren't up that high so my point is is that if it went from seventeen hundred dollars to nine hundred dollars right. that doesn't mean that lumber in the stores is going to drop by 50 percent because those are futures prices which don't necessarily mm correlate to actual lumber prices. And I don't know what the actuals are, but all that being said, um, yeah, I, I think that what I heard was that what a lot, I've heard this from a couple different people now, is that with all the lumber hikes, what's happened is that the demand has not gone down. And so, you know, the whole supply and demand curves, the, the supply has gone down, which has caused prices to go up but the demand has stayed the same. And so typically what happens, and quick little economics lesson, mm-hmm. or yeah, things would be, there's a whole thing about price elasticity. And price elasticity is basically like, how many people stop buying when the price goes up? Mm-hmm. And, and so, like at what point will that happen? Right, yeah. and so if you have an elastic price, um, then basically that means like as the price goes up, then the demand goes down because less people want to buy it because they don't want to pay that much more. But if you have inelastic, that means basically you can charge whatever you want. And I think what, what I've been hearing is that like, listen, the demand has not gone down. Like we, and like uh, that companies are not necessarily, like I heard it from somebody that had talked directly to a plywood dealer and they were like, yeah, when the prices come down, we're not necessarily going to lower our prices oh, back man. to what they were because the demand is still but there. But maybe that's when competition. We hope, and that's that's where market lower factors. The prices. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So that's crazy. But it's, just, it's a very interesting conversation because there's a lot at play. Um, but I do not believe that we will ever go back to where we were at. When I say ever, I feel like we're like not that in with the a lot not of in the things. short term to midterm. I don't think we'll go back to where we were at. Wow. I, I think best case is, you know, somewhere 50% or lower um, of where we're at now. So it's crazy. there you go. There you go. That was a long answer, but uh, that's, a, that's a great topic. Though. I also, I heard something that people that have been hoarding wood are too. now, yeah, like because the price of the futures are falling. Um, people that have been hoarding wood, I didn't read it. Who are these people? Who are the wood I don't know. That's what I was thinking, that now they're like trying to unload it. Yeah. And maybe that's what's dropping the market too. Right. It's like, as it's, it's, man, that's going to be like big people though, doing that to make it affect anything. So yeah. Who are these wood hoarders? I don't know. We need to roll up to their house. (laughs) Michael Anthony, looking to upgrade his Ryobi drills, M18 fuel, DeWalt XR, or rigid brushless? Uh, That's a good question. So I'll give you some pros to, you're not gonna go wrong with any of those, honestly. Um, Rigid has lifetime battery warranty, which that's an amazing thing. Uh, I actually, so I've had a lot of those Rigid batteries for, I don't know, four, four-ish years, four to five years. And I've had a, Probably. I've had a, a, a string of them They've started dying like left and right. I've had three of them die on me in the past like month or two. Um, and I, I cycle through them all, so I use them quite a bit. But uh, anyway, with it being rigid, 
I can send it in for LSA, lifetime mm -hmm. service agreement, and get free batteries back. So that is like a huge upside for Rigid. And now they have gotten the subcompact line in. I always used to say the biggest problem with Rigid was that they're too big. Um, so that's with them. Milwaukee and DeWalt, in my mind, those are super, super similar. I would just look at like the features, like build quality, performance, all that is going to be almost right on par. Um, and so it's more of like, what battery system do you want to tie into? So that's why I'd probably decide like, what other tools do you want to buy? And are you going to supplement that with Rigid or Milwaukee? I, or DeWalt or Milwaukee. I have both, um, or, or the other way around, I mean, Rigid as well. But I have uh, Milwaukee and DeWalt, but almost all my drills are DeWalt other than my 12 volt M12. But I have a few uh, Milwaukee, I have their cordless nailer, which is awesome. And I have the Porta Band. I think those are the only two I have. And then, uh, like I said, most of my drills are DeWalt. So, you know, it's not, it would be nice to have all one battery system, but you can't go wrong with either of those. Like, look, whatever one, like go to the store, go to uh, Home Depot and you can, cause they carry both of those. You can grab them, hold them in your hand, see which one you like best and just go with that or pricing if you get a sale because those are all great drills. Uh, Phil Stanfield, what's up my man? We had a great Father's Day. Uh, let's hear James Winters are cool, but then again, he's in Canada. <laughs> yeah. Winter Olympics. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Any chance going to the Austin Woodworking Festival in September? I am not. I didn't even know about that. I think I, I would love to go to Austin. I want to go to El Arroyo. What is that? That's that place that I show you. I follow this restaurant online that has oh. the sign. <laughs> it has like a El Arroyo sign out front, out front and they post the thing every day. They have margaritas and they have Mexican food. That's all I know. And their sign is hysterical. So if we're ever in Austin, we're going I'm going to El Arroyo. Arroyo. Yeah, that's is, all I know. What is Arroyo? I don't know. In Spanish. I don't know. Let's find out. But yeah. Can we? Alexa, what is Arroyo in Spanish? Someone's going to tell us. <laughs> she just said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she just said. <laughs> that was fantastic. You probably couldn't hear that. But she said, uh, Arroyo in Spanish is Arroyo. <laughs> that was so helpful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that was fantastic. Uh, I hope it's not like a bad word. He said something slang. Stream. Okay, there, yeah. the stream. I know Rio, Rio is river. Uh, yeah, the stream, so we're gonna go to the- stream. The stream. The stream, or the gutter, a gutter. The gutter. <laughs> That's what it says. Rogue Woodworks, going good, man, how are you? 30-40% uh, higher than they were last March. James, that's kind of what I'm feeling as well for, yeah. the, for the wood prices. It's depressing. That's going to affect housing costs. That's going to affect, like for new uh, homes. And yeah, I know. Yeah, everything. Are, but that's crazy. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Rogue Woodworks says, stay away from DeWalt cordless palm sander, not worth the time or money. All right. Um, good to know. I, I've had a few mm -hmm. people ask me. I have the Merca, which is awesome. They sent that Merca. to me. Uh, it's a fantastic sander. Crazy expensive, uh, but very, very nice. The, uh, if I was going to buy a sander today that wasn't like the Festool or the Merca, it would be the Bosch um, anti-vibration. I, I don't know what the model is, but the Bosch, whatever. That, that would be the one that I would buy. Uh, I don't know if they make mm -mm. cordless, though. I don't know. If, not in that version, at least. Well, Merca's not cordless either. No, but that's like integrated dust collection. Yeah, and all that. it's so very nice. It wouldn't make sense to have it cordless. But yes, it is yeah, super, so. super nice. Uh, Mike sure. Lees, what's up? What's up? Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, Mark Handy. How's it going, Mark? Kevin Gallimore. What's up, dude? Happy Father's Day to you. We got a couple people coming in late. Uh, love it. Teresa's daughter's in Austin. The Ten City downtown is unbelievable. The Ten City? What's the Ten City? I don't know what that is. I don't know. Oh, crime is exponentially higher right now. Oh. With the Ten City. The Ten City, like people that Why are homeless, I guess. Why is crime exponentially higher? Just because people are out of work or what? Uh, I don't know. It's not good. Dennis, like building kits for starting woodworking, picnic table kit, fuel tools are needed. Rabbit kit. Is, uh, see, I'm assuming Dennis answered this much earlier to that question of what to start with, but we're just seeing it now, so I don't know. Sometimes it's weird. It's weird. It's 9.52, so. Are you on, ready? Wait. No, I'm not. <laughs> I just, what? I, I was. <laughs> and we have to have some agreements here. I was, okay. Like, it's swimming. It's not like. Oh, we're not going to go into the actual. Oh, no. well, I was going to go forever. I, was, I had a whole no. thing of track. It's so like track and field. How do you do that? That's track and field. 
You don't say like shot put, sprint, like, like it's the whole category. There's like five of them then. No, there's more than five. Are you kidding me? I only know five. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, let's go. I don't know. All right. Okay. Who's going first? How do we do this? No, I think it's... Okay. Category is... Summer Olympics. Gymnastics. <laughs> Baseball. Crew. Basketball. Water polo. Track and field. Gymnastics. Oh, no! Yes! I know so many! Gymnastics again. Like, the... Uh, you don't know so many. I do. I had one, what was one of my I've been back... sitting here thinking oh, of tennis, them. Tennis. 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 Golf. And then I was going to say steeplechase. That's like a fancy one. Archery. I got you. Oh, dang it. Gymnastics again. You almost flubbed gymnastics on the first one. You said, like, this is what bigger. I do not do well with this game. Unless it's breakfast cereal or whatever yes. one I actually won. Dang it. Well, it gets your, it gets your adrenaline pumping. It does. I know. We need I to was, do this whenever we're tired. Cause I'm, I'm kind I'm of. I'm like, woohoo! Like, I'm ready to go now. I'm, I'm kind of. Um, I think the pressure is on. Baseball is a summer Olympic sport, right? I don't know. I think it is. I'm fairly oh, certain. Oh, man. Is baseball. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it, it, people in are searching the Olympics. For it. Yes. Tuesday, J July 7th. Baseball. Makes its return. Ooh. Dang it. They weren't in there, evidently. Yes. Ooh, soccer. What else did you say? I don't know. Soccer. I, yeah, soccer. Was I was a just good one. talking. <laughs> I have no idea what I said. I don't know either. What did I say? I think you said track and field. I said track and field. And basketball. And tennis. Did I say tennis? I said tennis. No, you were going to say that next. Yeah, tennis. I said basketball. I was sitting here thinking of them. <laughs> I, I, had ten, like, I, had tennis in my, I had tennis in my back pocket, but I was like... Oh, handball. I was going to say handball. Golf. I think golf is one. I was wondering about golf. I I'm wasn't sure about golf. I'm Probably. Sure anyway. Wow. <laughs> We're, it's not very exciting there for everybody go. else watching us because we don't make it very far. Usually, I know. Like, well, that's better. They probably don't want us. I know. Going. <laughs> if it went on for like five minutes, five that minutes would get a little that. long. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. So they yeah. took baseball out. Teresa. No, Teresa's they put back. They it back right in here. Teresa. July twenty seventh. Teresa. Dang it! But but but. Baseball it's at not the twenty twenty Olympics. As of right now. No, it's in it. We are it's in not the Olympics. In because They've they haven't played it yet. They've done qualifiers. Did US we baseball saw, qualify for We saw Olympics? a swimming competition, but this um, this 13 year old girl. June, June 5th, I just slid in. Okay, US baseball team qualifies for the Olympics. It's fine, it's fine. Capping a two no. year. We saw this girl, she's 13. She just, just turned 13. So she's pretty much the same oh age gosh. as our oldest. It's crazy. And she swam an IM, right? A an, 400 IM? Right, I like the long one. Individual medley. In, individual medley with, with women, like with the 400 women's IM. She was the youngest person, as you would imagine. These are all college students. Yeah, they were like Texas A&M. And it, I don't know if it was a qualifier. I don't think it was a qualifier, but it was just, she raced it. It was her first adult race, I think, as a, as a woman. Was a, she's 13. And she came back and beat all of them. She, went, she had it just turned 13 amazing. like days earlier. She's one to watch. Like, and I'm not like that big into swimming, but I mean, it that was incredible to watch. Was so Google it. That was insane. It was really good. Like they're, they're ripping them. Now everybody's got them. Ping pong. Ping pong is Equestrian, handball. Equestrian, ping pong, female vol volleyball. Volleyball. Yes. Really good one. They have the tiniest beach swim volleyball. suits. Tiniest. Like Ridiculous. it must, it gets in the way the beach of their ability. No, you're talking about oh, the beach, volleyball right? and yes. Indoor, they wear like, you know, the. Yeah, but beach volleyball, whole different business. Yeah. They, and uh, the women, the, and like the, Brazilian, the American usually dominate on that one. But then like the Brazilian women, they've got like even, like I feel like more international, you know, because like places where like, <laughs> places where well, it's cool for dudes to like be wearing Speedos there was on the a beach. Dude on the There's beach. like, when we were at the beach, there was yeah, like, a guy that like, came the walking volleyball up dudes the beach. Are, like, wearing, we're in Speedo, though, and I was like, we are not in, like, the Mediterranean <laughs> here. He, like, he looked good in the Speedo, so like, that was good, but... Are you yeah. for scuba? Are you for scuba? <laughs> you for scuba? <laughs> what movie was that? I don't know. It was, like, with Jennifer Aniston. Yes. I can't remember what that was. It was are you for ago. scuba? Anyway, man. Yeah, I know. Indoor and beach volleyball, yeah. <laughs> Equestrian. I was sitting here thinking, is there equestrian? But I guess there is. I'm sorry, stones? What is stones? 
What is is that, is that like, like bocce curling? Ball? But oh no, I think it without is without ice, well, which is kind of like bocce ball. Stones. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I mean, what? I don't know. Stones. I think that's what it is. In the I spelled the wrong Olympics. Stones in the gallbladder. That was the first. <laughs> uh, Stone, oh stoning in the Old Testament. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Curling. What? No, I don't see anything on here. Uh, I don't know. Stones, something like that. Anyway, it would be. <laughs> oh, and the marathon? Marathon? That's on there, right? Oh, that'd be track and field. Would that be considered track and field? That's not yes. a track and field event. A marathon? No. That's different. Biathlons? Decathlon. That decathlon. Be, that's track and field. What's the one when they run and then they have that's to shoot That's a great question. I, that's the biathlon. That's the biathlon? Yeah. I mean, that is like, you could have the ability to just calm your heart. I would be horrible at yeah. that. Heavy lifting? Oh, Weight yeah. lifting? Heavy lifting. Yeah. Right. One of right. my favorite. Wrestling. One of my favorite. Wrestling, right? <laughs> one of my favorite Saturday Night Live sketches. It was like back from, you know, like the 90s. And it was, um, I forget the guy's name, but it was uh, Dana Carvey. And then the guy who was his like taller guy, it was like Hans and Franz. Mm -hmm. He's like, we had to pump you up. Mm -hmm. And then they like were, and then I don't remember, I guess that actually probably wasn't the same thing, but uh, I feel like it, those were related, but maybe they weren't. But anyway, it was like something about the Olympic, the Olympics, and it was like the all steroid Olympics. And it was like, like there was nothing that was outlawed. And so they're like, they're like, oh yeah, Hans Gruber is on uh, fish tranquilizers and uh, you know horse opium and like whatever <laughs> and seven types of steroids. Oh, and, like, and cycling, cycling. And that he, makes me think of and cycling. He, and he goes down to do like a deadlift and like he grabs the bar and he's like, ah! and he comes up and it just like rips his arm off, ah. arms off, and his like hands are in there, and so it rips his arms off and they're just like, it's just like squirting blood. Like, oh my gosh. And he's like, oh no, <laughs> he's like my arm. I don't think I've ever seen this one. <laughs> Go Google that. Google um, that one. YouTube and that, the thirteen-year-old swimmer yeah. girl. Judo. Yes. Show me there. We're Judo. Atlas stones. I mean, or <laughs> Mark like, Candy. Are we? Hey, we, we just got we got uh, Olympic sports being thrown out, Mark. Uh, you know, we're getting we're getting in the mood for the Olympics. Yes, the triathlons. Oh, we did the triathlons? That's awesome. Triathlon. Oh, Hans cool. and Franz. Hans and Franz was awesome. Um, <laughs> got Helbert for review. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, yes. Have a good time. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the Olympics when they're coming up. We're yeah. going to enjoy them. Yeah. Uh, right now, I think about, we're going to enjoy yeah. another beer. And painting. And painting. Potentially painting. You want painting? I don't know. Maybe we will. Okay. I feel like we could pull it all off tomorrow. I have to get my hair done tomorrow. I'll be out of pocket. I'll paint your hair. <laughs> all right, guys. People we don't uh, know this. So uh, we will have a video coming out. We again will. At some no, point. Yes. At an undisclosed time. Yeah. Time and location, but Probably it's. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited about it. It's a nice transformation in our dining room, Yay! and uh, it looks. Well, we're not done yet, but it, it's looking really cool. It's and looking I think really once good. we put the paint on it, it's gonna really look cool. So yeah. uh, we're excited about that one. So make sure you tune in. Uh, but thanks for hanging out with us tonight, and we'll see you guys next week. Yep. Get out there and build something awesome this week. Good see night. you guys.